Well, okay, you could call it the unofficial color of summer. Everywhere you look, you're going to find salmon, delicious salmon on the menu. And we've got one of the best chefs in the city, Sean Applin, here from Outlier at Kimpton, which is Welcome. downtown Seattle, the hotel there. Thanks for coming and joining us this Absolutely. morning. You guys have you have a couple of favorite salmon recipes you want to share with us, not just for this, but also because you've got a benefit coming up in a little bit. So first, let's talk about salmon. We all love to buy it, cook this it. It's easy to grill. This looks Yours looks amazing, though. Thank you. Thank you have you. a couple of different recipes. Yeah, um, salmon's you know it's perfect um, Northwest product. It's one of our most abundant Northwest products we have here. Um, it's amazing a lot of different ways. We've prepared two di different ways for that'll be great for the summer. Let's start um, with this one. You you marinated it in beet juice. That's a cured um, king salmon. Marinated, it's cured in beet juice, salt, sugar, uh, mustard seeds, a little bit of dill, and caraway seed. Wow. What does the beet anyway, juice do? Beet juice gives it that beautiful color and, and great sweetness from the from the beets as well. Wow. And yeah. how do you make it go from looking like that, which is hard enough, to then looking like this? So we let the uh, salmon sit for two days in the cure, and we just and draws out some of the moisture, and we just slice it really thin, and, and it makes it like like that. And we just serve it with a little bit of dill cream cheese, some marinated cucumbers, a little bit of fennel, some dill, and some mustard seeds. Doesn't that look delicious? And a, and a rye cracker. It's really light. That is beautiful. What a yeah. presentation. Thank you. And then will you just look at this over here? <laughs> oh, you know I'm digging into this. In classic, right? classic, right? classic. Yeah, it's what a mustard is, honey glaze. How do you glaze. Put it together? Okay. So the glaze is. Um, I'll actually show you. Yeah. Um, just a little bit of mustard. That's good mustard. That's um, just not your yellow mustard. mustard. Uh, a little bit of honey. A little honey, it gets a little messy, but that's but just about oil, a tablespoon. Salt and pepper. It? Best way to do salmon is just really simply. Keep it simple. Um, salt. Four ingredients. A little pepper. So salt, just pepper, mustard, salt, honey. pepper, mustard, and honey. That's right. That's if you easy. like other ingredients, you can put it on top of there. Just kind of glaze the salmon on top, and then we roast it in a really high oven on a cedar plank. Um, we just cut. You know, some incisions in there normally, and so it gets into the meat. Why is mustard so good with salmon? Ah, it's just the bit, like the the bitter. The salmon's got a lot of oil, and it's kind of a, got a sweet flavor, and the mm -hmm. mustard's a little bit bitter, and, and got some vinegar flavors going on. So it's just gonna, a mesh of all the things really work really well. And for those of us at home that don't have the the wherewithal that you do in terms of cooking it. I heard that, I mean, I remember learning this a long time ago. The general deal is compared to, let's say, chicken or steak, high temperature, less time. Is that accurate or, am I, or did I totally mess up? I started this one off at a really high temperature, 550 degrees. Yeah. And then for like the first 15 minutes, Count I dropped it down really with the low, fork. 275 yeah. for, for another 20 minutes. So. Yeah, and that's it. And then you're in and out. Yep. And How it do looks you know like it's that done? coming out. It looks like that coming out. My husband always pushes pushes it to see if it's done. Oh, it absolutely. Is just, that how you do it? So it's got a little. So it's too squishy, it's not done if it's If it's really firm, like on the ends, it's going to be a little more well. If it jiggles a little bit, then. It's never looked like that. Never overcook it. <laughs> never overcook it. But you're still not done. You still have one more touch on it. And then when it comes out, we just kind of um, dress it with some herbs, make it really pretty and, and See, even more flavorful. See, that would just flavorful. ruin it for my kids. That would just ruin all the grain. Does that overdo it? Is there a chance you do overdo it? I don't think so. Not if it's really the right herb, so. I guess. It's just a mixture of herbs. It's parsley, tarragon, thyme, um, chives, so you could use um, really anything you want. Cool. Will you cut it for us with that little thingy bopper? Absolutely. <laughs> and while you not call the thingy bopper. You got this event coming up, the Salmon oh, Color Summer get in there. at Shaker oh. and Spear. Can you tell us about that? Uh, salmon color. Yeah, salmon we're doing event. a benefit uh, for fish. Um, it's the Friends of Isqua <laughs> Salmon Hatchery over in Isqua. Um, it's at Shaker and Spear in the Palladian Hotel oh. in Second of Virginia on July 17th. Mm. Um, it's all four Kipton chefs, so it's me and Walter Tulio from uh, Walter Pisano from Tulio, uh -huh. Aaron Leopold from Alexis, and Carolyn Spence from um, Shaker and Spear. And you're donating 10% of the proceeds. 10% of the charity. proceeds What's from charity? the dinner go to, to fish. Oh my gosh, which is wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, you can't. All right, so what's the verdict? This what is delicious. I took like a way, way too big of a bite, but <laughs> <laughs> for live TV, I got ahead of myself. Yeah, but there. that is so. Oh, good. I'm definitely it's getting not it. Not too much, not too much honey, but but something gave it a little kick. Probably the mustard, just a little bit of vinegar in the mustard. mustard, or maybe yeah, just some, some of the black pepper. Oh, a little bit possibly. of pepper. And this, when you oh say cured again, let's have so some good. people are just watching. They're not big time chefs at home. Does that mean you don't cook it? No, it's it's just cured. That's it. Yep. It just sits. Yep. like marinating. Does right? that mean it's it is cooked? Two days, it draws some of the moisture out, so it's not cooked, but it's it's preserved in a way, so it's it's totally edible. And Fascinating. Mm. Are you going to try that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's not many utensils. I'm not going to dive through my finger. I've got. <laughs> That's why you got to bring your own. Just like put it on a cracker. Got to <laughs> yeah. come prepared. Absolutely. Here, you can use this if you want. Do to. I? No, that, this I don't mind. I wasn't going to. Oh, that it's that delicious. Boy. Oh my gosh. And actually, is this cilantro? So soft. What's that? Is that cilantro or just parsley, dill, and tarragon in that? Oh, it's really good. Combination: parsley, dill, and tarragon. Oh, Great texture. You. Scrumptious. Okay, Sean Alpin so from good. Outlier. Applin. Applin. I'm sorry. What did I say? <laughs> did I say Apple? Alpin. I said Alpin. <laughs> it's okay. Sean it happens Alpin. all the time. <laughs> I'm not going to let it go, though. Thanks for waking up early with us. We really appreciate the time. We'll see you at Outlier. We'll be back after. Okay. We'll be so back. Good. <laughs> so delicious.